Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name is Garrett, and today we are going to be reviewing the XP Pen Artist 15.6 Pro Pen Tablet. So we've been on a 3D modeling journey the past few years, and as soon as we got into sculpting and ZBrush, we definitely knew that we needed a pen tablet. And having a tablet like this has definitely leveled up our sculpting game and our drawing game. But XP Pen recently sent us the Artist 15.6 Pro, um, for review so they did send us this product but everything you see in this video will be completely our opinion so let's just get right into it um, some of you may be asking what is a pen tablet and why do you need one now there are two types of pen tablets out there they both come with a digital pen but one has a built-in screen and the other does not this one that we're going to be reviewing today um, has a built-in screen so it basically functions as an external monitor just like any of your other monitors but you can use the pen on this screen to draw and it controls the mouse for you. And if you've never used one of these tablets before, it may not be clear why you would want one. Um, and there are two major reasons that these things provide an advantage. And one of them is pressure sensitivity. Um, we'll put up a comparison of drawing in Photoshop for this because it demonstrates it really clearly. Um, on the left, you can see we are using a mouse to draw a line. And on the right, we are using the XP pen with pressure sensitivity turned on. And as you can see on the right, you can vary the strength of your stroke based on how hard you press on the pen on the tablet. So it automatically gives it more of a natural feel and you can get much more stylized lines that taper at the beginning and the end. Um, it just allows you to do a lot more than you can with a mouse. Also, if you've ever tried to draw with a mouse, um, you know how hard that can be. So this provides a much more natural environment to draw. It, it's trying to simulate drawing with a pen or pencil on paper. So you can use that muscle memory that you've been building since you were a kid drawing on paper. Pressure sensitivity can also be used in 3D sculpting programs like ZBrush. So we'll put up on the screen here, you can see us using this tablet in ZBrush and sculpting with pressure sensitivity on. So let's check out the specs on this tablet. Um, on their website, it is listed at $450 USD at the time of recording. As the name implies, it has a 15.6 inch screen. It comes with a digital pen and a stand for that digital pen. Also, the pen does not need to be charged, which is nice. The tablet itself has programmable buttons along the side and a red dial that they say is good for um, scrolling and zooming. It comes with a stand for the monitor to set on your desk and it also includes software that you can use to configure and calibrate your screen. It plugs in via a three-in-one um, USB adapter, basically. It starts out with a plug into the tablet and then it splits into three, USB, HDMI, and power. It also has both um, pen pressure sensitivity and tilt. So it can tell the angle at which you're holding the pen to the screen and there are certain brushes in Photoshop and ZBrush that can utilize that type of thing. So with all that out of the way, we're gonna talk about our experiences with the tablet. The installation and setup was pretty easy. You basically unbox it, put it on your desk, plug it in and install some drivers and you're, you're up and running. Chelsea has been using this one for um, roughly two months and she's been using it quite heavily. I think she 3D models every day for um, several hours each day at least. She says that the viewing angle is really good on this one. We haven't had any issues. And one of our previous tablets had um, a very, very bad viewing angle. So it really makes us appreciate this tablet with the viewing angle that it has. She also said that she likes the pen design. Um, she says the buttons are placed nicely for the way that she holds the pen. And the fact that you don't need to recharge the pen is also a huge plus. 
Really the only complaint we had with this tablet was the stand that it comes with. Um, it only has two angles, which is basically laying flat on the desk, which I don't think has really helped to anyone. And um, you can kind of prop it up at a pretty shallow angle, which also is not super helpful. We currently have it propped up on a box just to get it to um, the right angle. And for a tablet this price, I think a decent stand is pretty much a must for something like this. Luckily, we have a 3D printer, so we might uh, just design our own stand for this, or maybe we should invest in one of those fancy tablet arms. That's really our only gripe with this. Um, otherwise, it has been a great tablet, and it has been keeping up with Chelsea's insane workload on it. So, in closing, we really think this is a solid choice for a graphics tablet. If you are interested in checking this tablet out for yourself, we will put a link down in the description, and that is an Amazon affiliate link. But one thing to keep in mind, if you are looking to get this tablet, I would definitely invest in a better stand for it. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions about this, um, leave them in the comments down below. We'll do our best to try and answer it the best we can. Also, we do lots of 3D modeling on this channel. Um, all of the models you've seen and any of the footage we've shown in this video have been models that we've created. Um, so if you are interested in those, one, subscribe for more of that type of content. And two, you can join us on Patreon and get access to all of our files. There's a link in the description below. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, keep creating.